You can create your own custom toolbar down here on the taskbar. All that means is that is there a folder somewhere that you want to be able to have as a shortcut here that when you click on it, it'll actually reveal all its contents. Think of it this way, something that you use commonly almost every day. For example, I can double click on the exercise folder and I don't use everything within the exercise folder, but it's usually this folder, something else, when I double click on it that I use a lot, that I put a lot of things into or I want to begin my day, my smiling face photo. So what I want to do, I'm going to close out of here instead of double clicking a couple of times to get through these folders to get down to my program. I'm going to add it as a shortcut or a toolbar here actually, not a shortcut, but a shortcut toolbar. To do so, go ahead and right click anywhere on your taskbar, come up to toolbars, hover over it, go over and down and left click on new toolbar. Automatically a window opens up and says fine, what folder do you want me to go ahead and add as a new toolbar on your taskbar down below here? Remember it was in the exercise folder, so let me double click on that and it was something else literally <laughs> go ahead and select something else the folder don't double click just click on it once to highlight it and then click on the button select folder and automatically it adds it down to as a toolbar down on your taskbar and you can see that your something else folder the name of the folder has a little arrow that you can click on and hiding within that folder is my smile now like I said on the other toolbars that you're adding to your taskbar the reason why we have to click on that double arrow is because there's not enough space on the taskbar to actually have the image right here so you can go ahead and right click anywhere on your taskbar, left click to unlock it, and then just click and drag these little dots here. And that, in this case, will stretch out my quick launch. We don't care about that, but I need to stretch it out over here to be able to click and drag and stretch my something else folder. And there's my little smiling JPEG. Now I know what you're probably thinking is why didn't I just go ahead and create a shortcut to my smiling JPEG just right to my quick launch by double clicking, opening up the exercise file, and double clicking something else, and then just click and drag and add it as a shortcut here. Well, you could, but it's just another way of doing this is adding a toolbar here. So when I'm finished, I can go ahead and right click and then lock it. And the reason why I want to lock it is because I don't want to inadvertently click and drag and stretch these icons back and forth along the taskbar. And then just simply click on the smiling JPEG and it opens up. Close out or right click and unlock it and drag everything back to the way it was. And it still works the same when I right click and lock it. Then I just have this little double arrow to click on to open up the smiling JPEG. And if you don't like that, let me close out of it. Remember, to get rid of toolbars on your taskbar, just right click on a blank area, come up to toolbars, and then come down. And the name of that toolbar is right there. You can see it's something else. Just click on it to uncheck it and it disappears. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.